Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, I was doing a search on eBay, and what I was looking for, if everybody knows, like, what the PSA slab holder, case holders, like, briefcases are, um, somebody told me that they had ones that were, like, already pre-cut that could fit all your cards, and you have to get the star or the, the padding and cut it yourself and all that stuff. So, I went on there, you know, type in, uh, graded card uh holder i think it was but yeah i started scrolling through and part of the way down let me pull this up i get this new blank empty professional unsealed graded card slab holder case grading psa bgs nine dollars 289 have sold. Oh, only 289 viewed uh, for today. 158 sold. And I, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I don't know if I can blow this up on a screen. All right, there we go. So if you guys see, there's those little dots that I was showing you guys a while back. I believe it was on a Trout Rookie or something like that. This is not a real PSA case. This is somebody that manufactured these. And they put them out to the public. But you could tell and feel and see that these are not real PSA slabs. Now, what they're doing were these corners. Okay, so let me do let me go back to my story here. So what these scammers, thieves, bandits are out there doing, they're buying these. So say I go out and I have a PSA 10 Luca, right? I know it's PSA 10. I crack it from that case, pull the label, and put my PSA 8 or 9 Luca into it. And they're sealing it back up into these, that 8 or 9 Luca. And the way they're doing it, it's with a, um, oh, not Gorilla Glue, it's like a super glue. And they're just gluing down the corners and a little bit on the edges to make it look like it's PSA. Pretty amazing, huh? I mean, I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute marinate. Yep. I, I, I mean, I knew it was coming because I've seen reprints in these already. So then they take that, the original PSA 10 Luca that was in that slab, and they mail it back to PSA, get another 10, get another label. Not kidding. Not kidding at all. That is your newest scam of them all. So now when you buy your PSA stuff, you're going to have to get really, really in-depth knowledge on how the labels and how the cases have changed over the years. And yes, the cases have changed over the years. Um, just to know what it is. Because the label is going to be real if they're sliding in there. The card is not. The case is not. So, like I said, what they're doing is they they have a PSA 10, like, Luca uh, Prism. They'll crack it out of that case, grab the label, buy this case here, stick it in there, and put another Luca that didn't grade 10 into it. Take the original Luca that did grade a 10, mail back PSA, get their 10 back. Now, these cases here, from what I remember... When I was talking to the rep from PSA, because I had him redo all my older cards uh, from the old labels to newer ones, and they actually hand-carried them back for me. Um, they're like, I don't want to use the word heat-treated, but they're sealed by using heat onto the plastic and stuff the whole way around. I do remember him saying, I can't remember exactly the correct words he used, but he described it to me. So, be very, very, very careful, everybody, what you're buying now. These are on eBay. I'll pull that off. Sorry, I had the big bubble still up there. In no way am I saying Nick's locker room is a scammer. I'm saying I don't like that you're selling these. Because you're giving scammers another tool to use in the hobby that we all grown to love through the years. And, oh, it's from Henderson, Nevada. I know somebody lives in Henderson. I'm going to contact you.
I want to see if you have any idea who this person is. I'm sure they're on Facebook and eBay and everything. Or they are on eBay. But check this out. This is the other part of the pictures. Unsealed, empty grading slab. Uh, there's just more down here. 24 of them for $100, 4 for 26 There it is. That's what I was looking for. That just freaked me out. I just saw how extreme car brakes. <laughs> New ship first class. To seal, you can use a clear adhesive or send to a local place that does ultrasonic welding. I knew it was something with heat that did it. Gee, thanks, buddy, for telling all the uh, scammers out there. Here's some cases. Why don't you guys uh, scam some people with some cards? Not a fan of this one at 100%. Now, I'll be honest. If this case here didn't have that label thing right there and try to be made look like a Beckett or Beckett, a PSA holder, I really wouldn't care. I wouldn't care if it was a one touch and it had a magnet on top of it. That'd be cool. But now people are going to start using these more and more and more and more. I cannot believe it. You know, there was somebody told me you could buy, um, old PSA labels on it was either Amazon or eBay and I tried to look for them I couldn't find them somebody might have bought them already I don't know but I, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time on to it probably like 10 15 minutes you know but this here like I said I was looking for the pelican case this is what we call them they had the cutouts to put your PSA slabs in you could lock them take them on airplanes like as a handbag and stuff or whatever, a carry-on bag, and this was in there. I think it was like the fifth or sixth one down, too. So be careful what you guys are doing out there. Like I said, you see all these little circles right there? That's the first key. And then start looking at the edges, because if you look at a PSA slab on how it's uh, done, you'll know. But from what I, got, I found out on one of the boards, people are using like a glue or even like a, a Gorilla Glue, and they're just doing the corners and a little bit on the edges, and they, st they don't even look real. But to an untrained eye, somebody doesn't do a lot of grading, and see a lot of PSA, they're going to buy right onto it. All right, everybody. I figured I would share this. Um, if you guys seen any of this stuff out there, let me know. If you ain't making fun, the PSA labels that they were selling to, Hit me up and send me a link on my email, extremecarbreaks at gmail.com. Because I'd really like to do a video on it, and I cannot find them anywhere. Or if somebody's, like, really, uh, like, Google smart and can pull, like, older stuff, please do that. Because I want to get a video on that out there. Um, just to show that these things were being sold. I just can't find them at all. But I do appreciate everybody the support to the channel. Um, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'm not going to have any kind of weird noises making to push the subscribe button. I don't know how to do that, to be honest. But appreciate the support, everybody. Um, if you guys got any questions on this stuff, you put them in the comments. Email me personally, because if there's something I need to go further into, I'll do another video on to it. All right, take care. I'll see you guys. Well, actually, I'm going live tonight to do the giveaway. I think this comes out tomorrow. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good weekend.